Shane, and today I want to take a look at Cartesian divers. Now, it's a fun and easy experiment, and it has some good science to it. The standard is using a soda bottle, but I want to show you a couple options that might make it a little bit more interesting. So, let's get started. In my classroom, I have students investigate Cartesian divers using two liter soda bottles. We talk about Archimedes' principle, the idea of buoyancy, Pascal's principle, and they have to determine why the diver goes up and down as you squeeze the bottle. Including why it doesn't work if you don't have a tap on the bottle. It's a simple experiment that can be made in a number of ways. I like to use glass medicine droppers and paper clips simply slid over the end. We're going to add a small amount of water to the bottom of it. I'm using green just to make it easier to see. We add just enough so that it just barely floats. The next step is to drop it into a bottle. Seal it with the cap. And then squeeze. If you watch closely, you can see that when the bottle is squeezed, more liquid is forced into the dropper, making the air bubble smaller. And when it's released, the air bubble gets larger. The squeezing actually causes the air inside the dropper to be compressed. That means there's going to be less buoyant force than gravity, so the dropper sinks. When I release it, the air bubble gets larger, the buoyant force becomes greater than the pull of gravity, so the dropper floats. This would be part of Archimedes' principle. This next diver is made with a plastic dropper, and it's going to be a little bit more permanent. I'll cut part of the stem off, add this nut here for ballast. It's going to be held there by hot glue. There we go. Now I'm going to add just enough water so that it barely floats. Put some in and check it. That's how I want it. Now I want to seal that with a little bit more hot glue. I'm simply going to push some down into that stem, and it'll harden and keep the water there. Now let's try it. Cap the bottle, give it a squeeze, and down it goes. In this case, no water actually goes into the dropper. The bulb simply compresses. Now we can then take this diver and make it spin by adding a set of fan blades. Squeeze it, it turns in one direction as it goes down, and the opposite direction as it comes back up. To make this, I cut a circle out of a milk jug and then I cut a series of lines towards the center of the circle. The plastic is then heated over a low flame to make the plastic softer. I then bend it into the shape that I want it, and as it cools, it retains that shape. After I've twisted all the blades, I would then put it on the diver. It's held there by friction. That's what it looks like. Let's put it in the bottle. There we go. I'll cap it. And we'll give it a squeeze. This next diver is very easy to build. It's a soda straw that's been cut in half, and then bent in half. The two ends of the soda straws have the ends of the paper clip put inside to hold it together, and there it is. Next, put the two ends of the straw into the water and squeeze. It's going to act just like the dropper. Water is going to go inside. Adjust it so that it barely floats. Put it in the soda bottle, squeeze, and down it goes. This diver is about as simple as it gets. Another popular diver has been condiment packets. Mustard, ketchup, soy sauce. Just stick it into water, see that it floats, and then add a paper clip or two to adjust its weight so that it just barely floats. Then stick it in a bottle, or a couple of them. There we go. Cap it. And squeeze. These plastic keychain figures make great divers also. I simply add a small weight in the hole in the bottom, test to see that it barely floats, and then add it to your bottle. This is a three liter bottle instead of a two liter, which gives me a little bit more room. And when I squeeze it, down they go. So here I have Garfield and Odie bouncing up and down just like the other divers.
If you look around, you can find all sorts of bottles that work. Now, what's the most number of Cartesian divers we can get into a two liter soda bottle? Well, right here I have 33. And they all dive. And they all come back up again. I wonder if there's a world's record for the number of divers that you can have in a soda bottle. We're gonna try it again making divers out of soda straws and see if we can get at least 100. If we have two caps with holes in it and a plastic tube, we can make a remote control. The hole is slightly smaller than the tube, so it fits tightly inside. One end is going to be connected to an empty bottle, which is going to be the pressure bottle. The other end is attached to the bottle with the divers in it. There we go. Squeezing the smaller bottle creates pressure in the larger one, and the diver goes down. This is an example of Pascal's principle. And here it is on a larger scale. Now, part two, we're going to take a look at some larger divers. Okay, bye.